Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Kevin Cosby at home in Louisville, Kentucky, with another powerful point to ponder as we spend meaningful moments with the master. Thank you again for joining us as we continue this theme that we've been on all week. Don't waste your pain. Don't throw the spinach away. If I could, as a child, I would have thrown the spinach away. And I would have hurt myself, harmed myself, self-sabotaged because the vitamins are in the spinach. The thing I don't like is often the very thing that God uses to bless me and bless you. The vitamins are in the spinach. Don't throw the spinach away. Don't throw the things you don't like away because the vitamins are in them. Don't waste your pain. We're looking at the apostle Paul when he writes to the church at Corinth. And Paul says in 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 3 through 7, Paul says this. We're just going to read some a few verses of this. He says, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of all mercies, and the God of all comfort. The God of all comfort, who comforts us in our tribulation, that we may be able to comfort those who are in any trouble with the comfort with, with we ourselves are comforted by God. Listen to me, God, don't forget this, God cares for us when we're in pain and you have to see God's care in your pain. God is in it, he's in the pain with us. Verse four says, who comforts us in all our tribulations. Now, we wish that we could edit verse four. Look at verse four again. If we had our chance, our opportunity to edit verse four, this is how we would want verse four to read, if we could edit it. Who comforts us from tribulation. That's how we would edit. Comforts us from our tribulation. In other words, that God doesn't allow us to, ha to have spinach on our plate. <laughs> That's how we would edit it but you can't edit it. Doesn't say God, verse four, doesn't say God comforts us from pain. It says God comforts us in our pain. We have to see God's care in the pain. It says that God who comforts us in, he's God's in the pain, but we also have to listen, seek, see God's comfort in the pain, but seek God's comfort while we're in the pain. Ask God to help us when we are in pain, amen. Now look, we don't always expect pain, do we? But it comes. We don't expect pain and we don't always escape pain and we really don't just have to endure pain. We don't endure pain, we employ pain, we learn lessons from our pain. The vitamins are in the spinach. We learn, listen to me, we learn only when we enroll or have been made to enroll in the university of adversity. And we've got to take some classes in the classroom of conflict. And once we have enrolled in the University of Adversity, and once we've spent a few semesters in the classroom of conflict, we don't like that classroom, but we gain from it. And I'm saying to you, my brothers and sisters, whatever you do, don't you waste your pain. Now, whenever you are in trouble, trouble will reveal two things. Trouble will reveal uh, to your friends who you are. Trouble reveals who you are to your friends. And trouble also reveals to you who your friends are. And listen, you discover how great God is because of the pain you've been in. Because some of us have been in such difficult problem, had so many difficult circumstances that had we known that we were going to have to face what we were facing, we would have sworn there's no way I could have made it. But it, it happened. The thing you thought you couldn't make it through happened and you made it. And you made it because God, who's the God of all comfort, was there for you. I told you yesterday that the word uh, 
Comfort literally means parakaleo, which means to be called alongside. But there's another definition in our English language for the word comfort, and that is to fortify, to fortify. Notice what's in the word comfort, comfort, F-O-R-T, like uh, where do soldiers go to for protection? They go to the fort. They go to the fort. They go for fortification. So the word fort literally means to strengthen. God is the God of all comfort. God is the God of strength who strengthens us when we are going through something. You know, I read something quite interesting that um, if you put a bee and a bat and a buzzard in a closed container, even if there's no lid on the container, the bee, the buzzard, and the bat will die. They will die. Now you ask, well, why? They can fly out of the container. They can fly out. But bees, watch this, and buzzards and bats have to fly. They fly horizontally, which is to say that they have to have a runway in order to fly. So they look horizontally. And if they're in a closed container, they don't see how they can get out of it because they are only looking around them horizontally. So they instead, they just hit against the wall in the closed in container. Put a bee in a jar and that bee, don't even put the lid on the jar, that bee, bee will die. Because the bee will keep hitting itself against the glass and you're sitting there wondering, oh my God, bee, the lid is off the glass. Why don't you fly out? Well, and that is because bees, the way they fly, and bats, the way they fly, and buzzards, the way they fly, they never look up, so they never get out of the container. They only look horizontally. Well, maybe we've got some Christian bees and some Christian buzzards and some Christian bats. Because when we're in trouble, we're like those, those flying creatures. We only look horizontally. If that bee and that buzzard and that bat in that closed container would look up, the lid is off and they say, I'm going up, I'm looking up, they could fly out of that situation. And brothers and sisters, God wants us to look up when we are in a closed container, a closed situation. And the Paul who said that God is the God of all comfort who was there with us in the tribulation, with us, fortifying us, giving us strength, comforting us, is the same God, is the same Paul who had to experience it himself, that God is the God that gets us through. We're, we're looking at verses three through five, but if you continue to read, especially in the message translation, 2 Corinthians chapter one, verses eight through 11, it says this, for we, for we do not want you to be ignorant, brethren, of all the troubles which we came to us in Asia, that we were burdened beyond measure above strength so that we were despaired even of life. We didn't think we were gonna live. Yes, we had the sentence of death in ourselves that we should not, that we should not trust in ourselves, but in God who raises the dead. In other words, they looked up to God. And because they looked up to God, verse 10 said, who delivered us from so great a death and, and does deliver us in whom we trust that he will still deliver us. So what did Paul do? He said, we look to God, not to ourselves, who delivered us because God is the God of all comfort. Don't waste your pain. Look to God. Let your pain be for your gain. Let your loss be for your lift. Let your adversity be for your advancement. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word today. We thank you for your people. Don't let us be like the bee, the bat, and the buzzard who doesn't get out of, this, out of closed in situations because they will not look up. Help us to look up to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you real good. Don't forget, 
the, the vitamins are in the spinach. Wow. Thank you for being with me. Look, if you don't have a church home, we'd love to invite you to become a part of St. Stephen Church. We want to continue to pour into your life. We want you to be a part of the family. So contact us. Look, here at St. Stephen Church here in Louisville, Kentucky, you don't have to be in Louisville to become a part of a church. You can be a digital disciple. You're growing in your faith and you've been growing as you've been watching these powerful points to ponder for a whole year. Maybe it's time for you to say, you know what? I'm going to be a digital disciple at St. Stephen Baptist Church in Louisville, Kentucky. So contact us, New Start at SSCLive.org. God's blessings upon you. I love you very much. Thank you so very much for the responses that I have received from the powerful points, the pond of the encouragement. You know, we're in this thing together. God is with us. We're brothers and sisters. We're we're nurturing and helping one another. And uh, you continue to nurture and help someone else as you're growing in your faith as well. Look, we'll get together tomorrow, but until we get together tomorrow, don't forget that during COVID-19, stay safe, stay sane, and if you can, stay home.